Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. A lot of people ask me that have pet snakes, what's the best way to handle them? We're gonna cover some do's and don'ts. You're watching Snake Bites. When keeping snakes as pets, of course handling them is a huge part of that. So we're going to talk about some techniques on some small snakes, some mid-sized snakes, and even some monster big snakes. We're going to show you the way we do it that's safe for the snake and safe for you. Let's start with some small snakes. Welcome to your Uncle Tutu's nursery. Now listen, today I'm going to show you how to properly handle baby snakes. Remember, they won't harm you. So you kind of just handle them and let them flow through your fingers. Go where they may go. See how I do that? Okay, now to the baby berms. The most important thing when you're going in this section is they're always hungry. They always, when the tub is open, think they're getting fed. So, open your tub, let them know you're not food, and then once you got them, and they know you're not gonna harm them, they're good. One of the questions I get asked a lot is about feeding and handling snakes. The rule that I use is a couple hours before I feed my snakes, I never handle them. In the next 24 hours after they feed, I always leave them alone, unless you're moving them from a feeding bin back into their own cage. One of the techniques that I use for the squirmier snakes, like some of your milk snakes, is I'll actually pick them up real gently and I'll let them actually run through my hands a little bit. Let them wear their self out. Sometimes after a good 30 or 40 seconds of them squirming around, they'll actually settle down and become a great handling snake. Hi. Depending on the size of your balls, you're either going to want to use one or two hands when you're handling them. I always use two hands for extra support. You can never be too careful when you're handling your own balls. The only difference when handling these mid-sized snakes like this incredible jaguar carpet python is that there's actually more snakes, so you have to really be careful and support the body really well, or it'll be uncomfortable. And of course, if you're not handling it with confidence or the animal's uncomfortable, there's a chance of you getting bit or something worse than that. All right, guys, now whenever you're handling snakes that you're not so comfortable handling or you're not sure if they're gonna be bitey or not, you're gonna wanna wear a pair of gloves like these. These are welding gloves. All you're gonna do is you're just gonna slide them on and then just, you know, gently Go ahead and grab the snake, just nice and slow. Just let it know, I'm not gonna be mean or anything, and eventually you'll be able to hold it without gloves. It'll get used to you, so you can just pick it up and without the gloves though. You guys know I love the big snakes, but they are a little bit dangerous if you're not careful, so we always suggest having at least two or three people when you're handling a big snake. I'll show you how to take out a snake without getting bit, hopefully. That's how you take out a big snake that has an attitude. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good job, guys. Warning, the following is for entertainment purposes only, and absolutely no snakes were harmed during its filming. Do not try this at home. Hey guys, you saw how that snake was not very tame. I'm telling you, those things should be puppy dog tame. I have a feeling my crew are not handling those animals properly. So I installed the security cam without them knowing. They're cleaning snakes right now. You guys, come on, let's take a look and see what they're doing with them. You gotta be kidding me. Dad, Don't I take the cage. I ain't cleaning it. I ain't cleaning it. Get him out of the cage. Are you for real? What the f? You guys. You guys are f too. We'll let Brian know about this. Fuck you. Need help? Yeah. Oh. Thanks for helping, asshole. Alright, fans, this is your one and only warning. Okay, para todo eso que no están viendo, esta es la única advertencia. Do not attempt any of the stunts performed in the show. It has been done by true professionals. 
No intenten hacer esto en sus casas. Está hecho por profesionales. It could result in serious injury. Puede resultar en heridas serias. Por favor. ¿Qué pasa? Snake myths. Fact or fiction. Brad, I got a question for you. Do you think snakes react differently when handled by different people? You know, I really do. It's all about the attitude. If you handle a snake with confidence and no fear, I really believe they sense that. The bigger question is, how are we going to test that? Well, obviously, you know, here at BHB, we're an equal opportunity employer. So I figured we take George, Chewy, and Kearney, and uh, we have them handle some snakes that aren't so tame, see how they react. Well, that is a culturally diverse group. Well, let's get to it. Let's do it. No, we're not doing that one. Whoa! stop running, dude. Get the out here. Oh! Whoa! 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 Like here, what's he do? Oh, he waved it. <laughs> that wasn't my idea. <laughs> <laughs> Get a closer to you and show you how it's done. He struck at me. Screw it, I don't know. All right, Bryce, what the hell happened? Well, there was no doubt that the person that handled the snakes with the most confidence and the less fear, you saw that the snake was less likely to want to bite that person. So who handled them the best? There's no doubt that Kearney handled the animals with the most confidence, and I'd have to say George was definitely the one that handled them with the most fear. So it's going to be a fact or fiction? This is total fact. Snakes react differently to different people. Kearney? Really? Maybe it's because he speaks Spanish and puts those snakes in a trance, you know. I have heard him sing a couple times. Women like it. Why not snakes? It's true. Hmm. Fact. On this week's Comment of the Week on the Mad Scientist episode, the question was, should the government keep bailing us out? And Thy Tempest said, I think the government should be there to help the people out, but I don't think it is the taxpayer's responsibility to bail out the CEOs running their companies into the ground while they fatten their wallets. People need to stop living above their means, end the cycle, and get back on their feet to build up what they want in the future. I agree with you 100%. It's kind of crazy that some of these CEOs are getting huge money when they're the ones that ran their company into the ground. Make sure you give me some creative comments, and we'll feature you in a future episode. All right, guys, it's Cal's question of the week. Now, we've had another ongoing argument. What's new here at BHB? This one is about the legalization of pot, marijuana. Legalization of pot? That's f***ed up. Come on. People can't drive on the roads as it is already. Could you imagine them driving high? Oh, hey, everyone. Well, my opinion is um, it should be legalized. It will just downsize the criminal activities. And, I mean, if you legalize it, you can sell it and get more taxes. The government would like that. So it will be cheaper. All right, guys. To tell the honest truth, I really don't give a crap because I don't smoke. Um, people that smoke it when it's illegal are going to smoke it when it's legal. No different. The problem is, it's the, it's the select few that ruin it for everybody. You know, the irresponsible people. Anything done in moderation will be fine. I'm not anti-pot. I'm anti-stupid people. I don't really give a crap what happens. Anyway, text or video comment below. Let me know what you think. So there it is. I hope you guys learned a little bit about handling snakes and leave it up to the professionals to handle those big animals. We don't want to see anyone get hurt. And there's a huge topic, people. You got to check out the video that's in the side link that I made on HR669. It's a huge thing. If you own reptiles or any animal at all, any pets, you got to check that out and go to www.nohr669.com because they're about to take away your rights to own animals. This has been Snake Bites.